Get well soon, Will Ospreay. What is up, everybody? Jake T. Dangerously here once again. I am here to do my New Japan Pro Wrestling's Dominion 2021 predictions. Now, Dominion happens this Monday morning live on NewJapanWorld.com from the famous Osaka Joe Hall in Osaka, Japan. Now, this card for Dominion is pretty solid, and it's loaded from top to bottom. We have five fantastic matches with two big titles on the line, so I'm extremely excited to do my Dominion predictions for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, a record. Coming into Dominion this year after our last New Japan Pro Wrestling event, which was the Satsuma no Kuni and Wrestling Dantaku Tour, we win a combined 16-6. and six. So our overall record coming in is 389, 123, and 4. So we're coming in hot, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So over this video, we will continue the Red Hot winning ways. We're on a four pay-per-view winning streak. Hope in this video, we make it number five. And can you dig that, sucker? Hopefully. And hope you guys be able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos that we'll be putting up on the channel in the month of June this year. And as always, sure you support our channel as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, commenting your picks and your opinions in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, this is your first video, boy, you picked a good one if you're a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling like myself, and you're ready for Dominion from Osaka Joe Hall in Osaka, Japan. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club, because this club is... Just, just, two... Woo-woo again! Thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these predictions. Let's start off with the first matchup. It is a massive 10-man tag team battle. On one side, they are a team consisting of Chaos and Huntai, consisting of one half of the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. He is representing Rapungi 3K. He is High Voltage Show. Next, you have the reigning Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Champions, consisting of Headhunter Yoshihashi, the Stone Pitbull Tomohiro Ishii, and the Fierce Warrior Hiroki Goto. And finally, you have the former Never Open Weight Champion, the former IWGP Intercontinental Champion, and the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to hold that IWGP Heavyweight Championship eight times. He is indeed the ace of the universe, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Hiroshi Tanahashi and our opponents are all representing the cutthroat darkness era of <laughs> consisting of the Tokyo Pimps, Yujiro Takahashi, the reigning Texas heavyweight champion, Bullet Club's crown jewel Chase Owens, the former IWGP junior heavyweight champion, Bone Soldier Taiji Shimori, the reigning back-to-back -back Super J-Cup champion, the original headbanger El Phantasmo, and finally you have the former IWGP heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental champion. He'll be accompanied by the spoiler Dick Togo, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is king of darkness, evil, because this is evil. Everything is evil. It's real, and it's just too sweet. So coming from me in this massive 10-man tag team battle between Chaos and Huntai versus Bullet Club, I am going to go with the Chaos Huntai squad of Yisho, Yoshihashi, Hiroki Goto, Tomohiro Ishii, and the Ace of the Universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi, to get it done and defeat the Bullet Club squad of Yujiro, El Phantasmo, Taiji Shimori, Chase Owens, and King of Darkness Evil by any means. 
And now the next matchup. It is a six-man tag team battle on one side. They are all representing Suzuki Gun, Ichiban, consisting of Doki and the brand new two-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, His Lordship Lord Taichi and Zack Sabre Jr. They are the Dangerous Techers. And their opponents are all representing Los Single Bernabales de Apon, consisting of MX Bushi, Cold Skull Sonata, and the leader of Los Single Bernabales de Apon, the former IWGP Heavyweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion, Tetsuya Naito. Now, Dangerous Techers are just coming off winning back the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships from G.O.D. in Corrigan Hall on Tuesday and becoming a two-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. And that also brought back the return of Lord Taichi's muse, Mio Abe. And with the tag team scene getting a little bit more interesting, Dangerous Techers did issue an open challenge to any tag team in any organization. So I don't know who's going to... Who's gonna take up that offer, but I am happy that Dangerous Techers finally ended their losing streak against G.O.D. and Corrigan Hall at Road to Dominion. There is idea of the L.I.J. squad coming off their loss on Wednesday in trying to get the Never Six Man Tag Team Championships, but there is a silver lining in this. If Sonata and Naito can win, if L.I.J. can win this match, Sonata and Naito could get an opportunity at the I.W.G.P. Heavyweight Tag Team Championships, and I would be absolutely down to see Naito and Sonata versus Dangerous Techers for those tag team straps. So coming from me in this six-man tag team battle between Suzuki Gun and Los Ingobernables de Apon, I am going to go with the LIJ squad of Bushi, Sonata, and Naito to get it done and defeat Doki and the Dangerous Techers by any means. And now the next matchup. It is for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Starting off with the challenger. He is representing Chaos and he is also one half of Rapungi 3K and he is also one half of the reigning five time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions with his partner show but he is looking to become the next IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. He is high energy Yo and Yo is challenging the 89th and reigning and defending IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. He is representing Suzuki Gun. It's Siobhan, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. He is the Rogue Luchador El Desperado. Now, originally, this matchup was supposed to happen at Wrestling Don Taku Night 2 on May 4th in Fukuoka. But with the uh, nine superstars catching the COVID, including El Desperado, this matchup was postponed. But I am, I am happy that this matchup is happening in Osaka Joe Hall. Now, starting off with Yo first, this is a golden opportunity, a chance to do what his partner show couldn't do all year, become the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion and become the first Chaos member since Will Ospreay to win the title for Chaos. And history at Dominion makes Yo a heavy, heavy favorite. There's how you have El Desperado looking to start his first reign as the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he's looking to make his first title defense a successful one. Now, Desperado won this title here in Osaka Joe Hall at Castle Attack over Bushi and El Fantasmo, and if anyone deserved to be the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, it was El Desperado. After his classic Best of Super Juniors Finals with Romu, and he really made himself a star, and a lot of longtime Despy fans are happy that Desperado is the Junior Champion. But history at Dominion makes Desperado a heavy, heavy underdog. Now here's a dangerous fact. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight title has been defended nine times at Dominion. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions here are three and six. Now the last time the Junior Heavyweight title was successfully defended at Dominion, you have to go all the way back to 2016 when Kushida beat 
Will Ospreay. And the last time the Junior Heavyweight title changed hands here at Dominion was in 2019 when Will Ospreay went on to win the Best of Super Juniors and beat Dragon Lee to become the Junior Heavyweight Champion. So will Yo continue the dominance of challengers for the Junior Heavyweight Championship at Dominion? Or will El Desperado stop this losing streak for Junior Champions and retain his title? So coming from me in this matchup for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship... If I remember right, in my Wrestling Don Taku prediction, I picked Desperado to retain. So coming from me, I'm going to stick with that pick. I am going to go with the Rogue Luchador El Desperado to retain the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship by any means and defeat High Energy Yo. And now the next matchup, and this is the matchup I'm personally excited for. It is a one-on-one -on -one showdown on one side. He is representing... The United Empire, and he is a former Ring of Honor television champion, a former Never Openweight champion. He is the Hawaiian juggernaut himself, the Hatchet, Jeff Cobb. And his opponent is the former and very first undisputed IWGP champion. He is the former IWGP heavyweight champion, the former IWGP junior heavyweight champion, the former IWGP intercontinental champion, and the only man in New Japan Pro Wrestling history to win the best of Super Juniors, the New Japan Cup, and the G1 Climax. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about, and he is Kane Gaming's favorite wrestler. Star Ibushi Kota. Now this is only the second one-on-one -on -one meeting between Jeff Cobb and Golden Star Kota Ibushi. Kota Ibushi won the last meeting over Jeff Cobb all the way back at the 30th G1 Climax Tournament last year. So this is the much anticipated rematch. Now starting off with Jeff Cobb first, Jeff Cobb is coming in the hottest wrestler in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he is coming in with a lot of focus. He is more determined and he is more... Like he's more highly, uh, finely tuned, uh, uh, finely tuned wrestler than he was last year. And Jeff Cobb is looking to get a big victory here, a chance to defeat the first ever undisputed IWGP champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling history, and a chance to put him down with his own version of the Kabi Goy. Then on the other side, you have Kota Ibushi looking to get back on the winning track after losing the undisputed title to Will Ospreay at Sakura Genesis. And this is where that rivalry started because after the match, Jeff Cobb put Kota Ibushi down with the tour of the islands. And lately during this Road to Dominion tour, Jeff Cobb has put Kota Ibushi down with that Kabi Goy and the fact that that Kabi Goy from Jeff Cobb, the emphasis on his on his knee to your chin, it showed it showed it showed how powerful he is and that move from Cobb because Kota Ibushi has knocked out a lot of people with that Kabi Goy, but Cobb's Kabi Goy put Ibushi down for a, put Ibushi down on a road two tour like I have never seen before. And Jeff Cobb has said he wants Murder Ibushi in this matchup. And I'm just going to say it right now. You better be careful what you wish for, Jeff Cobb, because Murder Ibushi is a dangerous Ibushi. And if he can control that anger like he's done before, Kota Ibushi is unstoppable. And he's looking to get some revenge against the Olympic, the Olympic medalist and the Hawaiian juggernaut. So coming from me in this one-on-one -on -one showdown between the Hatchet and the Golden Star and it's Kabi Goye versus Kami Goye, this one could be a definite match of the year candidate in 2021. We've had a ton of them in professional wrestling this year. But coming from me, I'm making this one wrong because I do like Jeff Cobb, but I am going to go with Golden Star Kota Ibushi to get his revenge and defeat the Hatchet Jeff Cobb by any means in an absolute banger. And now the main event. It is to crown a brand new undisputed IWGP champion. Starting off with the competitors. First, he is representing Los and Gobernables de Apone, and he is a former two-time never open weight champion, and he's looking to become the next undisputed IWGP champion. And if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you. 
He is the rampaging dragon Shingo Takagi, and his opponent is the leader of chaos, and he is the former five-time IWGP heavyweight champion, and he's looking to become the next undisputed IWGP champion, and if you know his music, you'll know who I'm talking about. Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. Now this is the third one-on-one -on -one meeting between the Dragon Shingo Takagi and Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. The series is tied one to one. So whoever wins this will break the tie and be the undisputed IWGP champion. Now Shingo's last victory over Kazuchika Okada happened in the first round of the this year's New Japan Cup tournament, but Okada was nowhere near at 100%. And Okada's last victory over Shingo Takagi happened in last year's G1 Climax Tournament. Now, this matchup had to be done because the former Undisputed Champion, Will Ospreay, had to vacate the Undisputed title after Shingo Takagi's match with him at Wrestling Dantaku. In a lot of people's opinion, the greatest match in 2021. In and I'm saying that myself. It was the greatest match in 2021 in wrestling. Osprey and Shingo had wrestling Don Taku night two on May 4th in Fukuoka. But that, that night ended Osprey's title reign because he was injured by Shingo Takagi and the title had to be vacated. So New Japan had no other choice but to put these two men... These two men, Okada and Shingo, and they will be whoever wins becomes the third undisputed IWGP champion. Now, starting off with Shingo Takagi first, this is another golden opportunity in his lap, a chance to finally become the undisputed IWGP champion, and a chance to bring the title back to Los Ingobernables de Alpone. Now, Shingo Takagi had his last opportunity against Will Ospreay at Wrestling Don Taku, but failed, but now he's getting another opportunity, and a chance to shut up the naysayers that say that Shingo Takagi beat Okada in the first round of the New Japan Cup because Okada was nowhere near 100%. But now Shingo has a chance to prove a lot of people wrong that he can beat Kazuchika Okada at 100%. But it ain't going to be easy. There is idea of Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada looking to come back from a one-year title drought. He has not been the IWG. The last time Okada was champion was Wrestle Kingdom 14 one year ago. So it has been over a year since Okada has been in the world title scene. And here at Dominion, Okada has a very good one-loss one record. Okada at Dominion is 4-2-1. and one. His last one-on-one -on -one loss was for that IWGP title at Dominion in 2018 when he lost the title in a classic one hour and four minute, two out of three falls, no time limit match against Kenny by God Omega. So Kazuchika Okada hasn't lost a match one-on-one -on -one at Dominion in three years. And when it comes to big match Okada, it's hard to beat him. And Okada's coming in 100%. Even though he got COVID, he was one of the nine superstars that got COVID, he definitely rainmakered it and put it down with the money clip. And he's coming in healthy, he's coming in 100%, and he's looking to become once again the man in New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's Okada's redemption story versus Shingo's chance to become the man. So coming from me in this massive main event match to determine who will be the new undisputed IWGP champion. I know a lot of people are picking Shingo to win this. And I know a lot of people are actually thinking if Okada wins this, Shingo wins the G1 Climax Tournament, goes on to Wrestle Kingdom, and beats Okada for the belt. So I know a lot of people are thinking that. I know a lot of people want to see Shingo win this matchup. But coming from me... I'm going to play this one safe, and I know New Japan is going to play this one safe. I am going to go with Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada to become the new undisputed IWGP champion and defeat the rampaging dragon Shingo Takagi by any means in an absolute banger match of the year candidate. And those are my New Japan Pro Wrestling's Dominion 2021 predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Comment below. Who do you see winning the undisputed IWGP championship between Shingo Takagi and Kazuchika Okada? 
Who do you see winning that huge one-on-one -on -one showdown between Jeff Cobb and Kota Ibushi? And who do you see winning the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title between Yo and El Desperado? Let me know all of your picks and your opinions in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and, of course, reply right back to me because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. And I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and we're just 5 subscribers away from the huge 900 subscriber mark. And YouTube tells me that 69% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So let's change that. If you're a fan of professional wrestling when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, AEW, NXT, Ring of Honor, and the WWE. And if you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NHL, NFL, college football, college basketball, super kick that subscribe button. It's free. Become part of this bigger Dangerous Alliance. And I will see you guys hopefully this weekend for my 2021 NBA Playoffs Conference Semifinals predictions. And this Monday for my NXT TakeOver In Your House 2 2021 predictions. Fatal 5-way for the NXT title. Later days, guys. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe and peace.